Hear me now, ye hallowed beings, both high and low of Heimdall's children. Thou wilt, thou father, that I well set forth the fates of the world, which as first I recall. I call to mind the kin of Ettons, which long ago did give me life. Nine worlds I know, the nine abodes of the glorious world tree, the ground beneath. In earliest times did Ymir live, was nor sea, nor land, nor salty waves. Neither earth was there, nor upper heaven, but a gaping nothing, and green things nowhere. Was the land then lifted aloft by Burr's sons, who made Midgard the matchless earth. Shone from the south the sun on dry land, on the ground then grew the greenward soft. From the south the sun by the side of the moon, heaved her right hand over heaven's rim. The sun knew not what seat she had, the stars knew not what stead they held, the moon knew not what might he had. Then gathered together the gods for counsel, the holy hosts, and held converse. To night a new moon their names they gave, the morning named and midday also, for noon and evening to order the year. On Itha plain met the mighty gods, Shrines and temples they timbered high, They founded forges to fashion gold, Tongs they did shape, and tools they made. Played at draughts in the garth, right glad they were, Nor aught lacked they for lustrous gold, Till maidens three from the thyrses came, Awful in might, from Ettenholm. To the coast then came, kind and mighty, From the gathered gods three great Izir, on land they found of little strength ask and embla unfaded yet. Sense they possessed not, soul they had not, being nor bearing nor blooming hue. Soul gave Odin, sense gave Honir, being loader and blooming hue. An ash I know, Heidigdrasil, the mighty tree moist with white dews. Thence come the floods that fall adown. Evergreen over the top earth swell this tree. Thence wise maidens three betake them. Under spreading boughs their bower stands. Earth one is height, the other Verdande, Skulled the third. They scores did cut, they laws did make, They lives did choose. For the children of men they marked their fates. I ween the first war in the world was this. When the gods Gulvig gashed with their spears, And in the hall of Har burned her. Three times burned they the thrice reborn, Ever and anon, even now she liveth. Heath one was height where to houses she came, The wise seeress and witchcraft plied, Cast spells where she could, cast spells on the mind, To wicked women she was welcome ever. Then gathered together the gods for counsel, the holy hosts and held converse, should the Izir a truce with tribute buy, or should all gods share in the feast? His spear had Odin sped over the host, the first of feuds was thus fought in the world, was broken in battle the breastwork of Asgard, fighting Vanir trod the field of battle. Then gathered together the gods for counsel, the holy hosts and held converse, who had filled the air with foul treason, and to uncouth Ettons, Oth's wife given. Thuy Thor then overthrew the foe, he seldom sits when of such he hears. Were sworn oaths broken and solemn vows, God's plighted troth, the pledges given. Where Heimdall's horn is hid, she knows, under heaven touching, holy world tree. On it are shed showery falls from Falona's pledge. Know ye further, or how? Alone she sat out, when the Lord of Gods, Odin the Old, her eye did seek. What seekest thou to know? Why summon me? Well now I egg where thy eye is hidden, in the wondrous well of Mimir. Each morn Mimir his mead doth drink out of Falona's pledge. Know ye further, or how? Gave egg to her, armorings and gems, for her Cirrus's sight, and soothsaying. The fates I fathom, yet farther I see, See far and wide the worlds about. The Valkyrie's flock from afar she beholds, Ready to ride to the realm of men. Skuld held her shield, Skogel likewise, 
Guth, Hild, Gondol, and Girskogo, for thus are height Heron's maidens, ready to ride over reddened battlefields. I saw for Balder the blessed god, Ig's dearest son, what doom is hidden. Green and glossy there grew aloft, the trees among the mistletoe. The slender seeming sapling became a fell weapon when flung by Hode. But Balder's brother was born full soon, but one night old slew him Odin's son. Neither cleansed his hands nor combed his hair, till Balder's slayer he sent to hell. But Frigg did weep in Fensalir, the fateful deed, know ye further or how?